So you want more FPS on 5M. <laughs> All right, well, I'm here. Now I can tell you right now, stop watching other videos. Do not click on another video telling you, oh, this is how you get more FPS in 5M. That's not gonna help you, okay? All this and that and this and that, that's not gonna help you at all, okay? Your buddy Jay Wilson here is gonna teach you how to get more FPS on 5M the natural way. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I would recommend doing, like the very first thing, because, all right, so to get started, I don't, I think everybody should understand this. Now, when you first buy your computer at whatever place you buy it from, even if you put your computer together, it's, it's called stock when you first get it. When you first bring it into your home and set it up and put it on your desk, it's called stock. That's the stock computer that, you know, it came in. That's, that's the settings that it's already at. And, you know, the optimization that it's already at. It can be the top of the line gaming computer. You have to know how to optimize your computer for gaming. So starting off, you want to uh, clear some files that may have already been on the computer or something like that. Or if you like started downloading stuff, I'm assuming everybody already has a computer, a PC, whatever. They just want more frames on 5M. So the first thing you want to start off by doing is clearing those extra files. So how to do this? You want to um, the Windows button, the Windows button on your keyboard and R. That's going to bring up this. So Windows plus R is actually on the screen right here. Uh, that will bring up this little window right here. And uh, as you can see, I actually have temp. So you wanna basically put a percentage sign, put the word temp, and then another percentage sign. So you wanna type that in, and you wanna hit enter, or just press that okay button. That's gonna bring this up. This is basically a temp folder. And temp, as everyone may know, is short for temporary. That means all these, everything scrolling down, these are temporary files that are on your computer. You wanna clear this off pretty much daily or uh, depends on how much stuff you use on your computer. So if you're running apps and you're just like gaming 24 seven, definitely clear like clear this stuff up every day you want to delete this stuff pretty much daily or weekly yeah you definitely just want to get rid of all this stuff so i'm highlighting everything as you can see and uh i'm deleting it sending it to the trash and as you can see you see all this that's 26 000, oh, 29 000 items that were located in my temper and, and and it might not look like a lot of files but it's a lot of files in that temporary folder as long as you get rid of that you'll be running at some more fps and it might come up this and this might say you can't delete some of this stuff just press do this for all current items hit try again if that doesn't work do it again and press skip and that would just exit everything out so and then you want to empty out your recycling bin after that it would say 43 items but you click yes and it would delete all 29,000 or how many you have of that stuff it's kind of satisfying watching everything just be deleted like that you know all those unnecessary files that are just running up the space on your computer it's pretty much satisfying so yeah all right the next thing that we want to do is delete some apps delete some apps so obviously i don't have a lot of apps on my computer i'm assuming that you have a lot of apps on your computer you want to hit windows that will bring you this section right here uh, type in apps. Oh, it is Valentine's Day today, right? I forgot. Uh, and then you want to hit add or remove programs. It might be different for you. I don't know how many people watching this are using Windows 10. I do recommend upgrading to Windows 11. It's beautiful for gaming and the UIs are just amazing. Uh, and that will bring you right here to your apps right here. So um, this is where you basically in uninstall apps <laughs> pretty much. So, you know, stuff, basic stuff that you don't need, obviously like stuff like maps, like you would uninstall this. So I will uninstall maps, some things you can't uninstall, uh, and you would just leave that. And, um, I can tell you some of the things that you don't want to uninstall, like Microsoft visual C plus plus and all that other good stuff, like Microsoft update health tools. All this is stuff that you need for your game and that you need for your PC to, to keep properly running. So, you know, just press these three dots and you hit uninstall. Uh, on the things that you don't need so like people some things like I said you can't uninstall uh, Obviously, I will have all this stuff uninstalled. I don't need people. I don't need phone link I don't need any of that But you know sometimes it's just there and then you know, you just can't uninstall it But if you have anything that that you see that you don't use uh, and that you can uninstall then go ahead and just uninstall it you know just stuff to think about stuff unnecessary stuff that you're not using you definitely uninstall it I don't know why I have clip champ, but 
think that was something old when I first started making videos. It's dumb, but yeah, that's the only thing that you do though. Sorry to waste the time. Let's get to the next thing. All right, guys, as you can see, we're in the home of the file explorer. And this basically shows you what my file explorer looks like. Um, got a lot of downloads, not too many though, as you can see, literally like this is the recent. Um, so if you go to my pictures, you can actually see all the screenshots that I had. So it's a couple of things for some thumbnails and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. And I've seen gamers that have like a crap ton of photos, just like endless scrolling and scrolling. you have to delete this stuff. You have to delete it. You know, if, if you're not using it or if you're finished using it, delete your photos and videos. I have a lot of videos on my computer. That's only because I'm like a YouTuber literally, but like delete this stuff off your your computer if it's not in use put it in your google drive keep it off your computer because at the end of the day you want that space on your c drive enough with that let's get on to the next thing all right so uh i actually had a conversation about this recently in my discord um it's the task manager it's basically the background apps and everything that's running in the background so you want to hit your windows key or just go down to the corner hit your windows uh, you want to type in task manager that's going to automatically come up you type in task and automatically come up or I think you just yeah you can actually just right click your your bottom bar and it actually comes up task manager but I like to do this too um, especially when I'm in game or something like that but yeah so as you can see this window did pop up I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger so everybody can see um, so it has apps so it's three apps running on my computer right now that's OBS that's the task manager that I'm using right now and that is the uh, audio virtual thing that I'm using for, you know, voice meter, basically. If you know, if you're familiar with voice meters, basically help your voice sound better on the microphone. Voila, you have my secrets. Um, I have that running. That's only three things. A lot of people have like 10 apps running in the background while they're playing 5M or something. I don't understand that. You know, if you want more frames, take off this stuff. Unless you're actually using this stuff, like say you're like, you're role playing in 5M and you just need like the cat or something on Google Chrome. That's a different story. But if you got Discord, Google Chrome, Call of Duty, Roblox, everything running in the background, that don't make sense. Take it off, end it, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to end it right now. If you basically, if you have something open in the background like Discord, I'm not using Discord right now. I would basically right click Discord and you wanna go to the one that has like a lot of megabytes running or gigabytes or whatever. The one that has a lot of stuff running. So basically it's highlighted. It actually shows you which one is the main one. And I would end that task. And that ended all the Discord tabs, everything. So Discord is completely closed off of my computer. Uh, Google Chrome. I wasn't even using Google Chrome. I just pressed the X button. I wasn't even using Google Chrome. But apparently Google Chrome is open in my background this whole time. And it's using a lot, as you can see, 119.2 megabytes of my memory. That's a lot. So that's going to make my computer lag up if I'm in game. So what you want to do is end that task. And boom and it might not actually close out so you might actually want to um end the task of the other ones too until it ends off completely so as you can see google chrome is completely closed i actually have a google crash handler i usually end that as well you know anything unnecessary that you're just not using like gaming services i never use that i don't even know what it's for i don't even play xbox you know i play on this pc so cortana you know all that extra stuff unnecessary stuff you don't need I hope you guys understand that. Obviously, if you have any questions about anything I'm going over, go ahead, put it in the comments or join the discord and I'll help you out. But that's pretty much it for that part. You know, learn how to end off and close out your background apps. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty of 5M and how to get more FPS in 5M. Now, right now, I can tell you that I'm probably playing on like 40 or 50 FPS. So I just did all that stuff to my computer, you know, deleted some extra stuff. All those 29,000 items in my uh temporary folder i actually deleted all those so i should be getting a lot of frames all right so one other thing that we're gonna do before we start moving on to the 5m part of things so you know so this was like basic pc knowledge and you know just some stuff that you need to know for, even for other games even you know uh just for some other stuff that's stuff that you need to know if you want to go into your file explorer sorry i'm kind of distracted i like to fidget around with my mouse and like click stuff while i'm doing videos but yeah so you want to go into your 5m application data if you're not familiar with that then get familiar with that i'm not going to teach you how to go over your 5m application data you should know this and you want to go into data so it's going to be right here it says citizen crashes data you want to hit data and this is how you clear your cache I know there's other videos and stuff out there and you know teach you how to clear your cache and all that stuff just watch this okay 
So it has cache, it has game storage, has NUI storage, server cache, and server cache private. You want to delete cache, the whole folder, and you want to, these two at the bottom, server cache and server cache private. You want to basically delete both of those. You see everything that's being deleted right now? That is crazy. 45,000 items. Do you want to permanently delete them? See, these items are too big to recycle. It basically shows how much uh, space that 5M is taking over your computer. So basically, yes, you want to delete all this permanently. Look at that. That's 23 gigabytes. That's crazy. I think it started off at like 30 or something like that. I don't know. That's a lot of gigabytes. That's basically from all the servers that you ever joined on 5M. That's basically everything that you ever downloaded. Before you join in and stuff, it says downloading this, downloading the content, download. That's everything that's been downloaded. So there you go. You can actually delete all that stuff. And you can actually, it's going to, when you come back in game, it's going to actually take a minute for things to load in for the next server that you play. But it's going to definitely be worth it because you have more frames. So I'm deleting 45,000 of these items. And now I can create more. So don't worry about those uh, cache folders and stuff like that. Those are going to auto regenerate as soon as you open up 5M. Let me actually show you guys right now. Since we're moving into 5M, you might as well, right? So 5M might actually take a while to load up. Uh, you know, depends on your PC, obviously. But um, yeah, if you want to check in the description right now, you can actually see the, the PC specs of my PC. So, so I'm going to show you my settings and, you know, the settings that you should probably have. Um, you know, just the normal settings to make your game not lag and, you know, get more frames. If you're liking this video, please drop a like, please share this video to everybody. I want everybody to have the best frames and the best experience gaming. All right, folks, as you can see, I am in game right now and it is crazy. So assuming everybody is on low end PCs and they're not really using the best graphic mod out there, like NVE and Quan V, like I was using before. Uh, I just went ahead and added uh, Visual V in here, so there you go. This is Visual V, and it's a beautiful graphic mod. Don't get me messed up at all. You got people driving around up in there. That's funny. What's he doing? This is RSM, one of them little free roam servers. It's really nice, though. See how the see how the the blur at the oh, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Visual V is a really good one. But hey, I did promise you guys more FPS, and if you guys want to look in the corner over there, it says. 93 i'm getting 96 98 go down to 87 84 sometimes it depends on what people coming through but hey the whole goal is to get over 60 fps guys i am playing at basically 100 fps uh i just no clipped over here a little bit and i got a i was i was getting like 136 you know and it's not even because of the no clip it's just the area i guess but uh yeah i think this is like the perfect area to get it um yeah, I'm getting 99 FPS right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. You can actually see it in the corner over there. 101. That is insane. So yeah, this is basically a proven step. And I'm on a laptop. I'm on a laptop. This is no joke. The only thing I don't want you guys to do, everybody who's watching this video right now, only thing I do not want you guys to do is going ahead and watching those other videos and buying, not buying, but downloading those stupid mod packs where it's like, uh, like boost FPS packs and stuff. Don't do that because there could be viruses or anything in those packs and those folders that you download. Do not download any unknown packs or anything like that because the YouTubers say it will get you more FPS. No, this is a natural way to get FPS and it's proven. It's literally proven. Look how many FPS I'm getting. I might actually start streaming with this mod because this is crazy. Visual V is beautiful. So let's look at the in game settings right now uh using 300 3006 megabytes out of 6000 and uh i'm using very high texture quality if i lower all this stuff down if i lower all this stuff down to like normal or like the basics or something i'm gonna be getting a steady 140 fps it's gonna be crazy i'm on ultra post fx right now so if you're on like a low end pc i do recommend lowering all the all of the stuff down everything that you see say very high put it on high or put it on normal if you're on like a low end PC or if you know your comp computer can actually handle this stuff, I guarantee you just put it on high. You'll be looking nice. And Visual V is also a mod that I recommend because obviously it looks good. But yeah, these are the graphics. Don't worry about the advanced graphics. Never really change these. As, as it says, it could reduce game performance. So you don't really want to use that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. That's the end of the video. 
uh, I, I am really messing with the graphics. I'm probably going to play here in a minute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. So um, definitely like, subscribe, and uh, comment what you want to see next. Uh, make sure you join the Discord. Uh, and please don't go downloading those Boost FPS packs from other YouTubers. Don't do that. That's bad. Love you guys. See you. Peace out.